Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arc 3 opener here on the Random Me Loser 12 here on the Heavy Physics channel. Here we're back. We are now heading into solving the crisis from the last part. Ignore the um, red candy bits. So, well, it's a good thing you can't see the effects on the whole old screen. But anyway, I just like to uh, bulk up my Pokemon here. Because you know what a run of the run of the and twelve let's play is not complete without the rare candies. And rare candies are a very important substance when it comes to uh, leveling up. Anyway, I decided to blitz up my uh, Blitzel and my Padov to level 18. Pretty good levels, you need them anyway. Because we're gonna be heading towards the Pinwheel Forest. Because Burr will be you'll be following Burr, and Burr you'll be basically his bitch. No really. You'll be following his temple. Now we get to the Pinwheel Forest, the first dungeon of the game. All you have to do is track down Team Plasma Grunts. Your objective is to go to the western part, where we'll go north. To be like, oh, let's do this one, but then they are say, yeah. Anyway, this is a twin battle, oh joy. So, let's begin our battle. The twins will have two new Pokemon. They will have a Swan. Swaddles are basically Kayla if she was a if she was a bug type. I attack with Blitzel and Pedal. Sorry, I you know I hate doing this. But it's um first off, use a weak shockwave. Shockwave. Not much there. And I use air cutter, which doesn't You know when I did this, it actually knocked out the both of them because they were too weak. That's strange. So let's uh, let's finish off, shall we? I think a quick attack will do it. From a Pedov. And that's the end of that. And that's the end of that, which means we've beaten the twins. Okay. Ah. Right, so moving on to our next um, encounter, which is of course Team Plasma Grunt number one! He'll have a new Pokemon on his team, so you may want to keep an eye on this one. He used to be a prominent member of the past, but I already decided on my grand type. Here's a Sandile. Sandiles are ground dark types, and they're very speedy and interesting. And I'm using Survive. Indeed. Let's begin. Survive, Leaf Tornado. Which does actually hurt a lot, actually. Oh, yes, it does. Well, 247 experience. That's pretty much it. You're gonna have to go deeper into the forest in order to get the four the plasma grunts. It's not bad because we're gonna get a, a, another member of our team here in the in the woods. A very rare bug type that you normally would see. Stay tuned for the next few minutes to find out which bug type I've pitched. And we're back in a different color, so we're gonna take on plasma grunt number two! Plasma Grunt number two will have a Purloin in her team. So I decided to show off, of course, my Duot. Here's a move that you probably not normally would see. Duot, Vacuum Wave. Now what is now what is Vacuum Wave, you may ask? Vacuum Wave is basically a 40 special priority attack. And Duot doesn't load this, I know. As I mentioned before, Samurott and Superior are both terrible. So I've decided to give them a little bit of a boost when it comes to, you know, I decided to put them in moves that they're going to be adapting later on. Speaking of which, we're in a battle against this Ranger. The first Ranger of the forest, and he'll have a hoodie. It's an old one, you know what that means. Time for our hard hitting Pig Knight. Do some damage of his own. Unfortunately, Pig Knight. As I remember rightly, if, you, if you're going to be using um, Pokemon uh, Bla Pokemon Blaze Black and Bolt White, I heard rumors he's going to become a Fire Crown type. That's a big no-no. He's got he's got four X weakness to water. Then, even though he's supposed to be this bulky bulky sweeper, he really really isn't a good Fire Crown type. Fire Dark was pretty much a good way of saying it. I would have just said if Drayana actually would watch this, if he would, keep the fire dark type and just go with the suggestions you're going. Anyway, it's a wild put off. That sucks. Alright, so we go down here and we find ourselves a hidden tiny mushroom. They're not important that you can sell those for money. I mean, after all, every. Oh, it's a cotton knee. 
got a new pig knight. Pissed off pig. What was I doing here? Oh, I ran away. Why is that? I was thinking. Right. Let's swap back to Blitzel because we're going to be using these two for the next um, battle or something like that. Moving on. Oh, we were saving here. Why? Because the forest is a lot more complicated this way. So let's carry on. And it's still sunny. Well, actually, it's the middle of the day. Taking advantage of multiple clips and multiple persistencies. I mean, after all, this was a 60 minute video and it sucked. Right. We have on Youngster Nicholas. His first Pokemon is, of course, Venipede. At level 16, Blitzel. Now, here's what you do. Do not kill him with physical attacks, you get poison. Go with a shockwave, does a lot more damage. Like that. Looks like it's 222 experience, which is good. Timber, if you know what you're flying type, it's pure flying. Pure fighting, so time for up and up. Now I'm thinking about replacing some Pokemon when I get the chance. Yeah, you know the drill by now. I'm going to be evaluating these Pokemon. They're just temporary members, I mean I'll draw Pedal is a very good pit is a very Pokemon that everyone usually gets. I like to call them the intermediate or I like to call them the level one Pokemon. When you get level three, you get some really hard hitters. Let's swap our newest let's get our newest member of the team out, shall we? Alright, facing picking up this antidote right here, which is gonna be kinda useful. And we have another Ranger! Um Using powers of nature. What the hell? Anyway, that's a pen sage. Here's our newest member of the team, Venopede. Venopede is a poison dark bug type that is pretty much, which is not like other other bug poison types prior. It's actually the first very decent poison. But it's the first decent bug poison that I've ever seen in the history of the franchise. Good stats. Good. St Use and they have mostly physical moves and well I got just got paralyzed. Can I be your poison? Yeah. Stupid Yeah, this is the problem I've got. Uh paralyzed, you know, cuts your speed in half, but it also gives that bastard a little more advantage. So a little healing here and there and a little healing off there. Kind of pointless anyway. Another lick attack would do a lot more damage if I knock him out with a poison sting. Poison beat scratch, by the way, keep it on that. And that's the end of the uh, episode, we'll conclude in the second part.